Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game Scum, and we're now in Season 5, Episode 41. Well, I've been doing some looting. Since last episode, I went to the prison, and I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff. Look at my account balance, a bit healthier again, 124,000 buckaroonies. And I went to the C2 bunker, and I've loaded up with a bit of stuff. Um, I came back here, um, the... Generate still 95%, which is pretty good. I think I've got, it says two, 110 watts, so I've got 10 watts happening with the um, battery charger. So it's still charging up that battery, that's only got 1.2 in it. My current um, MVG has a fair bit of charge on it. It'll last quite a while, so that's okay. Um, I've got this little fridge going now, so I've got some antibiotics, a few other medications and a little bit of food sitting in here. Um, there's a bit of space in there so I could throw some potatoes and corn from down towards the B2 airport base if I wanted to. Um, but technically um, we're not doing too bad. I've got an MRE on me and a beef stew one and I've got some tuna down here as well, canned tuna. So I should be right for food. So what we need to do is to go to the C2 Trader and uh, see if we can sell off some of the stuff that we've got because I've got a couple, two or three bags full of loot. We will go... We'll see what happens here. We want to get a little bit more money up our sleeve. We don't really need to, but so much it's not funny, but... Got to find the road first. Um, yeah, the C2 bunker, uh, it went a little bit chaotic. There's something weird going on with the spawning of the puppets, I've got to say. Um, you can assume that you've cleaned out an area, and the next minute they pop out of nowhere right beside you. Uh, I'm not sure why the scum guys haven't fixed it yet, but it's a bit of a worry. Um, I don't know, is that intentional? Is it meant to do that? Like... I don't think, I don't know, from what I'm hearing, a lot of people aren't very happy with it. I don't know, is it just something different that we have to all get used to? Um, I don't know. I don't know, it's a bit weird, it's a bit unnerving, because um, you think you've done the job of running around and getting rid of the, the puppets that are in the area, but I think if you then go a bit loud, like run around the place with a um, hiking bag full of loot, it's almost like it wakes them up and, and you're, you're making too much noise sort of thing so all of a sudden they throw a bunch of puppets at you again. Um, that's what it feels like. Anyhow, survive as best we can I guess. So let's see what we can do with the armory because there should be a fair bit of stuff. You know I've been to the... Um, let's have a look up here at the hiking bag. I've been to the medical room so we should get at least five grand out of all this. The rest of it I'll just probably end up taking back to the B2 airport base, I suppose. Do I need that on? Probably not. What's up? I'm trading. So, sell. Put it into the bank. Oh, I did notice, by the way, um, I was looting a few things and picked up a bit of cash. And it's happened a few times now. Whatever cash I have on me, it disappears. It just disappears from my inventory. I don't know what, why that is, but anyway. Those three things... Have a look at that. Just those three things is more than 5,000 bucks. That's, um, yeah, that's quite amazing. Could also throw in a couple of bits of ammo, which I may not need. I don't think I need the Kel-22, that, that. We'll leave the rest of that in there. There you go, 5,600 buckaroonies. Not bad. So the rest of that stuff, um, whoops, that rest of that stuff is a little bit like, um, medical stuff. Actually, hang on. Is anything worth selling? Not really. I can cut these other guys up as rags and stuff and keep, I suppose. So that's not a big deal. Alright. Um, can't. I, I might try this. I just keep forgetting to do it. Hang on. Let's just uh, repair the chassis of the car. I've been looking at that a few times and going, yeah, I should really repair it. Um, which, which bag did we go into? Was it number three? That's got stuff in it. Yeah, that... Uh, yes. Yes, I think that was it. 
Alright, so where's my hiking bag? I'll put that one back in there. Might be that other green one as well. Okay, hang on. We'll come back. Leave the bag. Leave the box on the ground. It should be fine. At least the C2 trader's got enough light where you don't need to have the MBG on all the time. I'm back. Guns come unloaded. And I'm selling into the bank. Kidding. Nobody cares. So the quiver, um, that, that, and the helmet. And that gun. I'm not selling the UMP45 because I want to add that to the list of gear that um, I'm going to disassemble it and use it for parts. The stun grenade I can sell. That I can sell. I might keep the rail. You don't get much for the 357 ammo. I've got so much of it. I might keep the RPK magazine. So what's that? Man, another 6,700. Holy dooly. 136. So there's another 12 grand. I mean, oh my goodness. It doesn't take much, does it? Let's have a look at... And I can take that other stuff out later. Did I have stuff in here? I'm, yes, I did. Because I had a feeling I had... I ended up with like three bags. Wow. The old armory, that's the place I'm picking up stuff and selling. Because I'm only the guns. The guns are worth so much in scum. Guns come on that thing registered. Sell to the bank. That Nobody one, that cares. one. Those two, that. Man, that's five and a half grand already. See, there's the UMP weapon parts that I had disassembled. Nine mil I'll keep. Might keep all of that. Not too fussed on the hunter stuff. What do you get? 100 bucks roughly for them. That's not bad, I suppose. 45 trace I'll use. 38 I won't. Do I have the helmet? I did have the helmet. That's a 308 suppressor. I'll keep that. See, look at that. That's almost another 6,000 bucks again. So, I've probably made 16,000 or more. That's not bad. I mean, I have done better than that at the C2 bunker, but I kind of looted a bit more, and I think there might be some stuff down here that I collected that I haven't. Oh, dear. Hey, just want to check. Is that empty? Not really, but it's kind of got stuff in. So I need to take all this stuff back to the airport base and then sort it, I think. Has that got anything in it? No, that one's empty. If I equip that, and then we put this other green bag back in the car, say down here, do I really want to keep all of these guns? RPK, I don't think I want to keep a M9 pistol, I've still got heaps of those, I think I'm happy to get rid of the little 74U, I'll keep that. Definitely get rid of the Carbon Hunter. I've got a few of these. There's another one of these. Might keep the Block 21. Um, see, I've got so many of these guys. It's just amazing, even if they're upside down. <laughs> uh, there's another one. Got to go to the police stations fairly soon too. I was going to kind of do an episode of that see what gear we come back with. I think that's pretty good. Is it just the miscellaneous guns that I was... Oh, it's almost daylight. Um, the miscellaneous stuff I was kind of picking up and putting in the car and all that. I, I need to you know, clean out the car anyway. Kidding. Nobody cares. Yeah, let's have a look. That, 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 that. The pistols and that. 8,600, holy dooly, so that's everything in there that I want to sell, if I sell it, I'm now over 151,000, what did I start with, was it 120, what did I say, 123, 126, so 25 to 30,000 just from a C2 bunker raid, and I didn't really do the whole bunker at, at all, yeah, that's pretty amazing, alright, so... Let me just clean things up here a little bit. If I take these ones out... So the one I've got now, that's ready to, to use. Uh, if I equip that one, I open that one... Camp 
we I just want to kind of combine actually I might pop that down there because I'll have that to eat in a sec let's pop all this together I've been keeping the weapon repair kits but of course you can just with a with a normal um, toolkit you can just make one into a, a, a disassemble it into parts and use that to repair another gun I kind of been using that instead so these two are now empty and ready to use the third one how full was that oh um, yeah that does make it a little bit difficult I'm trying to work out how we're gonna do this Trying to squeeze everything in as much as I can, I suppose. Oh, because that was really a... Mm, hang on, did I have an assault bag? I did. What did that have in it? Oh, it's totally packed. <laughs> with, with more health stuff. You know what? I don't need that much stuff, surely. Um, hang on a second. This green bag we're going to come back to. Uh, can I just make myself a little bit of space here? This green bag we're going to come back to. I'm going to equip this guy. Just pop my head into here because this is nuts. I don't need this much health stuff. Come in. I'll have a look. Go ahead. You'll I'm selling to him the into the bank. Those are fake anyway. That, 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 that. 1300 buckaroonies. Oh, I got pepper on me. Cool. Alright. Um, I'm selling all that stuff. Thanks, Doc. All in good health. All in good health, yes. Now, come back. Just a little bit of work here, I suppose. So, was it the cream bag? How full was that? That is my. Hang on, have I got a tactical squad? I have. So I don't need that. Uh, how full is this tact is this toolbox? I kinda don't really need it to be honest. MK eighteen is definitely going home. Same with that. These guys I might oh, should I sell these or not? I kind of want to use the gun with these things at some point. I thought I thought that would have been actually quite fun. Uh, keep that. These guys I can sell. Sell. Definitely want to keep that. Uh, Nine mil and forty-five. Can they join? They can. Where is my actual ammo at the moment? I'll slide that in there. Keep that. I will keep that. 45 ammo I want to keep. And maybe the 9mm. Uh, okay, so the cream bag is chockers. Let me go just sell these dribs. And, actually, was there anything else in the car? It might have been. Just down this side here. Oh my goodness. Um... We just seem to pick up the M249s pretty easily. M1891, I might keep that back at the base. So there's something else. Actually, just curious. Can I fit that in there? Oh, I can. Okay. Alright, and then inside of here... There was another one of these guys. The block I was going to keep. Definitely keep that. Gonna keep that. There's a stun grenade. I can. I think there was some stuff in here. I mean, I know these screwdrivers are worth their weight in gold, so I'll probably hold on to that. And I picked up a candle at some point. Anyway. All right. Let's just take the assault bag in with this gear. Get rid of it. It's handy sometimes having a spare bag here and there. Guns, come on, load that thing registered. So that, no that, 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 and that. 4700 oh my goodness uh, that's everything isn't it yep so thanks dude so back up to 157,000 plus yeah it doesn't take much in scum to get up your, your money back up again all right so 
let me just double check with all these then. That one sounds like it's got stuff in it. That one too. But this one is empty and this one is empty and the salt bag is empty. Let me just throw that up there. So the ones that are at the top are the ones that I kind of want to remember to use. Uh, what was this third green one like? Yeah, it's got kind of like partial stuff, hasn't it? Maybe I should just put this stuff in here. That'll give me three full hiking bags. Spare. Because there's one thing I would like to do before I go. I, have to, I do have to go back um, to the airport base. Because there's a few jobs kind of I want to need to do back there. But... Um, this assault bag can go right down the bottom. And that one was empty, so I'm going to equip that. And I think these two had stuff in them. <coughs> I'm trying to keep these kind of down the bottom as much as possible. I uh, can't do too much about that, though. That's going to have to go there somewhere. All right. It gives me a little bit of space down in here. Okay. Cool. Do I need anything else? Um, I could just run over and buy another fuel container. I might do. No loyalty. Either prices are not negotiable. Nice to see you too, dude. Uh, buy that. See you, dude. Have a, nice day. Have a nice day too. It looks like a nice day. All right. Let's see if we can. Fill the car up with fuel. I mean, I've got fuel containers in here, but I like having a few spare ones, so I don't mind buying one every now and again. Where's my, where's my fuel? There's some extra bags. There it is. So I've got to remember that these two are kind of empty, so I can fill them up the next time I go to a... F well, I might do that on the way back to the B2 airport base. Um, but we're not doing that today. Um, oh, actually, hang on. Oh yeah, hang on a second. We are still selling at the trader. Oh my goodness. Alright. Uh, yeah. I do want to keep one of these at the base, but see, I want to keep a few of these and start using the scar fairly soon. That I want to keep. Oh man, okay. Some of these suppressors I wouldn't mind keeping. Actually, you know what? I probably shouldn't be doing some of this because there's some of this ammo I could probably still use. Gee, I've got some good suppressors around, hey? Alright, so that one... Do I need to keep so much of this? Really, it's just like... I should be selling some of this stuff. There's a bit of food in here, which is pretty good to know. I've been selling the 38 stuff, hey, because I'm not really using it very often. 38, I'll use both of these. 357, keep all of that. ASVEL ammo? I'll keep a box, I suppose. More 38. Uh, what about these guys? That's got stuff in it. That's more food related though, that one. And this one. Anyone anyone want to go fishing? The rebar cutter. There's more 38. EMP grenade. I'll keep that. 38 ammo. I can't remember. We'll have a look in a second. But look at this. Five boxes of 38 ammo. Oh man. See, in this stuff I should be keeping and using in one of the other guns. I might keep a box of the buckshot actually then the police bag what did it have in it oh wow more even more food stuff yeah i got to go through that back at this is this is really important i keep this for the b2 air, uh, airport base all right um let's go sell a little bit more stuff there's not much point keeping all of it it's a bit Guns nuts come unloaded that thing registered <laughs> kidding 
So what am I getting? 158 bucks. So if I put, and they vary a little bit. Oops. So the five of them, 727 bucks. Oh man. And then all this miscellaneous ammo and some, uh, almost two grand. Oops. It would have been two grand. Probably. That's pretty good. All right, got another empty bag. Cool. I had to do this, and I thought I'd do an episode just showing you how, you know, I end up with all this stuff in these boxes, and I kind of forget. Uh, this is the fuel one. Did it just have fuel, though? It's got an alternator. I have a feeling I... I don't think I... Just in case, you know, Jimmy asked the question, too. I don't think I found that. I think I, that was because it's 100%. I'm pretty certain it's one I had bought previously from the mechanic here. So that's not a problem. Uh, the third box, is that what I was in before? Yeah, that's what I was in before. Yep, so that's alright. How about number four? No, oh, I only had four, okay. Yeah, see, this is where you end up with some stuff where you go, why am I keeping this? I often wonder what I'm doing with the watering cans because they don't work. Um, that's it for that. The big ammo. A tear gas grenade. Yeah, that's kind of weird, isn't it? That's another thing that's kind of a bit miscellaneous. SVD suppressor. Oh, wow, that's right. I haven't found an SVD yet. Sell that. Got a few of them, actually. Does he take the tactical gloves? I, I just... I can't remember. I'm curious. Tactical vest. Does he take the tactical kind of clothing and stuff as well, or not? 38 ammo. Just going through and cleaning out a few things here and there. So that's probably it, apart from the... Um, can I fit the bow in there? There you go. A few little things here and there. Go and sell, and the rest of it just put back into uh, inventory storage. Guns come unload that For use somewhere else, I guess. That, 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 that. 800 bucks. What do I get for the... Bow, two bucks. <laughs> oh man, okay, so that was one of the first bows I made. Do you get two bucks for a bow? Oh my goodness. Alright, there you go. So we're kind of. Hang on, did I just miss Guns something? Security that thing registered. Sell that for 92 bucks. There you go. 160 grand. And if you were not picky, like I have been, and you just went and sold everything, you would probably get. I don't know, fifty thousand dollars every time you just go to the the prison and the C two bunker, I think. Where are these drops coming down? One's near the town at the top of me. One's kinda of heading towards the prison. Okay. Um I'm just trying to think, is there anything else that I wanted to buy here? So the B two airport base um now has six fridges and I think it was three, three, four, five, maybe five or six electrical generators, so they're doing all right. Um, let me just eat this because I'm getting down a bit, aren't I? 68, 51, might grab a drink of water, probably make him pee, as usual. Oh, I tell you what, we don't often do this, but I might as well go for a swim. No, uh, where is it? Drink the water. much point drinking from your canteen when you can just drink from here, I guess. Drink again. Nice looking day in the scum, isn't it? Hang on a second, is that a boat just sitting out there? Is that an abandoned boat? Because we've still got our boat, which is way over that way, back near our base down docked at that little house down there. Hmm. I didn't realise there was a boat just left in the water like that, so you could technically just go and grab it. Well, assuming you got fuel and you don't drown getting there. Alrighty. Well, I think I'm right to go. Um, do I need... Whoops, do I need more food, though? Oh, he's not too bad. 69, 58. Bit of water. He'll go over 100 and then want to pee in a second. Like he, he normally does. 
Oh, well, anything else I need, though? I just want to make sure I've got everything. So I've filled up the car with fuel. Yeah, it's filled up with fuel. It's repaired. Battery's fully charged. I was kind of tempted to go and buy another couple of electrical toolkits. wonder whether I should. Um, who has them? That's the, um, the general trader, isn't it? Maybe I should do that. I, I'm really struggling to find them around the place, so maybe welcome, we should. Welcome, Here's what I've got. Uh, is it tools? Repair this guy. Two grand a pop. Um, I'm going to buy five of these. That cost a ten grand. I, don't, I simply do not find them enough. And I'm just thinking, I don't have to worry about fixing my MVG, I don't have to worry about fixing the um, the battery charges. Thanks, dude. I know, I know that's pretty expensive, but it's like, well, hang on a second, I spent 10 grand, but I just made, like, I don't know, $35,000 out of the C2 bunker and the prison, so... Yeah. It's almost like in this season of scum now for me, I've got to the point where I'm just going to use some of the cash and, you know, I haven't touched the gold balance. I'm still 150,000 account balance. I've still got more money than I started with. Um, but yeah, I'll probably drive back to the C2 base during this episode. We'll drop off a couple of toolkits and then off camera I'll probably drive back to the B2 airport base because there's a couple of things down there that I want to want to do but I might make it part of next episode because I was going to do an episode where we went and had a look through all the um, police stations and so I was going to use the one north of the C2 trader here as one police station and then fast travel to the other police stations down closer to the B2 airport base. So that'll probably happen next episode. So let's just uh, head back to the base here. I might actually poke my head into that little um, the little hut down near the water here and just see, because it seems to have some good loot in there from time to time. It's quite amazing what you get. <coughs> the most, I'm just thinking, where's the best place to put some of this stuff? And we kind of had some toolkits and stuff, didn't we, here? There's a fair bit of um, fish stuff in here too. Alright, let's drop a couple of these in here. So I know this base has definitely got electrical toolkits. Uh, in here. Actually, hang on. Uh, this top one. All right, let me just sort this out a little bit. I'm just thinking, make enough space for me to put these guys in here. So when I get back to the B2 base, I will have to obviously go through and sort some of these things out. Um. But I'd like to do the police station run, and I need a few empty bags to be able to do that. Because I'm thinking, there's one police station there, and then, where are they? Then there's one in B2, then there's one just at the bottom of C3, so that's one, two... Oh, and there's the one just north of the B2 airport base, where I take that shortcut that Jimmy showed me, so it's kind of south of here. So there's basically two police... Yeah, okay, so there's about four. 
that would be fun to do that and compare what I get and see what I get amongst all of them. I kind of really would like to do that. Get a bunch of pistols. Oh, there you go. See, repair kit. It's pretty cool. Won't worry about the gunpowder. Scary mask. We can always sell that. Simply wear it. <laughs> Metal pipe. Oh, look at that. There's another spare fuel container. Just stuff like that. That's pretty amazing to get all that. Always seem to find something. I don't know why, but yeah, always manage to find something. Anyway, guys, just look nice and secure, see? So, hang on. Where's the... Hang on, which one was the fuel one? Was that two? There you go. So, I've got to drop into a fuel station and fill that up. That That's a, that's a definite. Uh... Weapons, health, clothes, miscellaneous. I've got toolkits in here, so we might just throw this stuff in here. Some miscellaneous stuff. Alright guys, well, I think I'm going to have to leave the uh, episode here. But, uh, yeah, a little bit different. But I like to show you sometimes in an episode what I'm, what I'm selling and what I'm getting for it and things like that. If that helps you guys as well. A little bit different. Anyway, guys, yeah, next episode we might do the police station run, I think. That's what I was thinking of. Anyway, I'll leave the episode here. Really hope you enjoyed it today. If you did, you can help the channel out by smashing the like button for the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega help the channel out by subscribing. Alright, everyone, thanks so much. Cheers.